Hey dudes. Uh, I'm making another video. I just, um, even though I don't really watch them that much, I watched another of Cloud at 745 video, Babs videos, or Aaron, or Natural Born Gamers, whatever you want to call them. And I pretty much just watch his, you might call them drama videos. That's pretty much how I identify just certain people's videos when they're doing what I'm doing right now pretty much and I just call that drama Th this might be it you consider it too I don't know I haven't really caused much of it he's caused I think a considerable amount of it that I've experienced anyway anyway he made a video that was titled um um I already closed it but I think it was like I'm bringing back my old walk through a narrative style woot or whatever and just like everyone else, I saw it, and I was like, oh, shit, that's awesome, that's great, and you kind of forget April Fool's, maybe you think too high of Cloud, like, for some reason, I have, I don't know why, but I kind of thought too highly of him, and figured he wouldn't bow down to this shit, but he did, and tricked us, I actually read his description, and I pretty much knew that that's what it was, but I watched the video anyway, in hopes that he'd be more mature than almost everyone on YouTube. But that would be false. Because apparently the date gives you an alright reason to act like a dick. And you might say, well, dude, it's just a joke. You know, you need to take it so seriously. Well, you have to think about it, man. You have to think, even if I don't take it seriously, you know some people are. I mean, when they see someone that they love on on YouTube or whatever that you're going to, and they go, hey, I'm bringing back what you all love because you love it, and I'm going to please the fans, yay. Of course you're going to get happy. And then when they reveal that they're just fucking with you, you're going to get mad about it. Because that's how humans react to shit like that. That's how, that's, how, that's how animals react to shit like that. You can't tell them that. You do actions, and then you do an, an opposite action, and they'll react, you know, they'll be fucking upset about it. Okay? So, and Cloud isn't the only one doing it. This isn't against Cloud. It's just, um, that's the most recent one I watched. And I actually left a comment pretty much saying how asshole it is. Or douche if you will. So it's very hard to say, but I said anyway. But, I mean, April Fool's bullshit. It's just a date. It's just a date. In fact, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I am going... Fool's Day. I am going to actually go to... Uh, Wikipedia, and I'm gonna read y'all what it says on on the origin section. Nothing else, cause that's all that really matters. The origin of April Fool's Day is obscure. One likely theory is that the modern holiday was first celebrated soon after the adoption of the Gregorian calendar. The term referred to someone still adhering to the Julian calendar, which it replaced. In many pre-Christian cultures, May Day, which is May first, was celebrated as the first day of summer and signaled the start of the spring planting season. An April Fool was someone who did this prematurely. Another origin is that April 1st was counted um, the first day of the year in France, when King Charles the Ninth, yeah, it's in Roman numerals, fuck you, <laughs> uh, changed that to, gen to January 1st. Some people stayed with April 1st. Those who did were called April Fools and were taunted by their neighbors in the 18th century, the festival was often position. My, I think it says posited. I'm not sure. As going back to the times of Noah, an English newspaper article published on April 13th, 1789, said that the day had its origins when he, which is Noah, I believe, sent the raven off too early before the waters had receded. He did this on the first day of the Hebrew month that corresponds with April. A possible reference to April Fool's Day can be seen in the Canterbury Tales, in parentheses, it's CA 1400. In the Nun's Priest Tale, A Tale of Two Fools, Can Chanticleer and the Fox, which took place on March 32nd. So, generally, it doesn't give people the right to act like a dick. Basically, is what it's saying is it's pretty much literally about calendar shit and that people who didn't uh, who didn't adhere to the current standard of calendarness I guess were viewed as retards and were taunted which might not be right but I mean it's like pretty much that's what we do now so I guess that is right so I guess maybe they were retarded but they were just stuck in the ways that happens to people 
So therefore, given that definition, April Fool's Day does not, out of nowhere, give you the right to be an asshole or to get someone's hopes up. And don't say that it's just a joke and everything. You're fucking with with people's emotions here. You're you're taking people in to think, oh, something positive's about to happen, and then you fuck with them, and they get crushed and you say well it's just the internet take it don't take it so seriously well you know what it doesn't matter okay you can think that maybe you have a life or something what if they don't or what if they do but they like things on the internet it's like if a show you watched for 10 years suddenly got canceled out of nowhere but 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 it was april fools and it was like oh it's going to be the best episode ever kind of thing and it had all positive press but there was no positive press it was all made up cuz april fools and the show was getting canceled never to be seen again on tv ever 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 no reruns even it's not even syndicated it's only in your place but it's your favorite show ever and it's taken off there just like that and and that's it and then everyone says well don't take it seriously it's just a tv show well you pretty much lived your life on that show that's that's what i'm talking about so don't say don't take it seriously because if someone's fucking with you, it doesn't matter what, what kind of medium it's taking place in, it's fucking with you. And you should take that seriously. Because it's fucking retarded, basically. Well, I guess that's all I have to say now. I think it's actually pretty cool that I easily made about six minutes. That's pretty great. But I guess this is all. And I guess we'll see who watches it. Oh, by the way, while I have a video running, I have a video called A uh, Woman Kills Husband or something like that. That's got like 4,000 views on it. I mean, holy shit, man. Dude, you people are crazy. I mean, that that video is one of the reasons why I tag all my videos with cake in the title or in the tags because it's the first video that I just decided to put cake in there and out of nowhere, 4,372 views, man. It 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 had five stars before, but, you know, me and my friend were playing around and he one-starred it. So that's why it's got four stars now. But, God, you people... For a like, two-and-a-half-minute video that high, that's pretty impressive for me. So, thanks, people. And all my 59 subscribers, how many of you are real subscribers? I don't know. A lot of them are probably that sub for sub shit. Because if you ask me to sub to you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and sub to you because I don't really care. I mean, I mean, why not? You know. Yeah. Anyway, sorry for, for, the, for the rambling in places. Sorry about that. But, yeah, I guess that's all I got to say. And goodbye.